Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So one more attack. Um, let's say, and this can happen in one or two. So either uh, we're in this situation, and this arm won't get out of play, right? Like he's just keeping it involved. Or common scenarios. Let's get this out of here. I'm doing my choke, and what he'll do is fish his left hand between, like inside this hole right here, right, and start attack grabbing my hand. Now, for those of you that are interested, what he wants to do, let this go, please, is take his right hand and palm my knuckles. Yes, and that will stifle this choke quite significantly. And then his goal is to make a big bridge towards his left, which will force me to have to adjust my base or get rerolled. So that's what he wants to do. But quite often, people will try to defend it with the same arm on the side of, that I'm choking, or I can't get there in the first place. Let's just do that for now, just to keep it simple, right? So, if this arm stays here, I have this head and arm control. I'm going to be nice about the Superman control, but imagine I'm sprawling on him, right? What I want to do is I want to attack this arm. So the way I'm going to attack this thing is I want to get his elbow to be super loose. Mm -hmm. I want to get uh, move your hand. I don't want to torque your wrist. I want to get his elbow above his ear. Okay. The way I'm going to do that is uh, let's move again. I don't want to wrist off you by accident. There is, by the way, if you hold that there, put your hand against your head. If I'm like, there's like a oh, yeah, stupid wrist lock right there. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, right. So we're here. If I just try to move Jimmy's elbow, pinch your elbow real tight. Ah, am I trying to reach? Shit, I'm just waiting. You know, I just hold weights like for a while and I'm like, I'll be the one who lasts. Okay, uh, what I want to do instead, give me a little bit of resistance, is my hand stays connected to the floor and then I'm gonna walk like, like I'm Scooby-Doo, like sneaking around. <laughs> And that's how I'm getting that elbow out of position. Okay. From here, what I want to do is I want to be a little gopher. And I put my head in this tongue. It's a very important nuance. If we go back and I'm up here and like I try to wiggle my head around, I'm just going to sandpaper my own eyebrows. <laughs> and you're going to look like a gopher. <laughs> Instead, if you guys, uh, let me turn a little bit this way. If you guys look, I'm like head burrowed. And then going through. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. From here, I want to grab my collar. All right. We'll keep it real simple today. Um, there's a whole other thread of attacks you can do from here. But the basic gist at this point, guys, is I bite this collar uh, really tight. My elbow comes over, and I move his head off the line. Right? I want my elbow to press against it. I'm on my palm on the Move around, please. Right. From here, I'm going to army crawl forward like high up on his body, and I should slide this to the point where my elbow is directly below his elbow. This seems like you'd lose control, but again, like moving around, Jim. Right. I'm actually really isolated. From here, I'm going to grab over his thumb, lace a figure four, and I bury my eyebrows into the groove of my thumb, and I just lean on it. So I'm not doing this. You guys, Jim, like he can kind of fight against that, right? Flex your, bend your elbow, right? Ah, right, go back. All right, bend your elbow, please. No. So my forehead is what's, like I'm actually driving my weight into that wrist. Obviously guys, if he starts trying to circle his arm, Americana's right there, right? Like it's all, it's all right there. I'm not a huge fan of the mousetrap as a concept because if he continues to try to wiggle, let's say he tries to wiggle towards like a Kimura direction, right? If he goes that way, then the Americana's right there. If he tries to go towards a Kimura, grab that wrist lock. Most, some of y'all are not allowed to do that yet. I mean, for those of you like three stripes-ish, you can wrist lock. If you're at like two stripes, hang out. One to two stripes, you know what I'm saying? Hang out with this. Um, or catch and release. I would say play around with catch and release. So <laughs> again, like go through all that. Actually, you want to see that, bud? Yeah. Chase me, you. That's funny, catch and release. <laughs> and let me get your head facing the camera. <laughs> okay. So let's say this arm. Actually, let's do out of the Ezekiel this time. But, Jimmy, just so you, in case you, didn't, you need to see it, let's say you're just defending. Yeah. It's just here. And I knock under the thing. Hold tight. Here. Total. And go through. And collect. Does that make sense, guys? If I'm going for the Ezekiel, and he brings that hand inside, I'm just going under. And I'm kind of right there. From here, elbow goes over. And then watch this, guys. Palm to the floor. Slide his head off the line. Move around, please. And I'm going to army crawl up, 
spin back this little. My army crawl up, and I should end up right on top, uh, like right uh, under his elbow. From here, I can release this elbow, and I want to find his thumb. So I'm not finding the wrist, I'm finding the groove of the thumb. And then I'm going to see that if you guys look, there's a little hole. You know, like you're playing that game where you make him look at this and then they kick you? Hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look in the hole. Okay? Elbows go tight. And then again, take that, uh, like, just try to bend your elbow like you're doing a bicep crunch. It can be tough. All he needs is that enough to start spinning around and stuff. Right? That, like, flex your bicep and then spin your arm around to get free. Right? All he needs is just a little bit. All right. Spin your arm, please. Bend your elbow, please. Nothing. Yeah, he's not going to get anything. There's also a little bit like of an elbow pinch that happens there. If he does manage to start spinning his arm towards the Americana, take it home. Remember, cobra hands. If you guys were here for that lesson, if you don't know that, don't worry about it. But just cobra and here. I'm cobra commander. And then if he starts going towards the Kimura, go up to the wrist lock. And I just want to grab that pointer knuckle and start taking that towards his armpit. Does that make sense, guys? Excellent. Last one. Let's play around with it. Play around with it. I can't speak. One, two, three.